Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.2 is a kind of clarification on sequences and an introduction to exponential functions. So, sequence equations we talked about last video. You could probably tell I don't really like them because of my tone talking about them last video. However, before we get into this video, I need to clarify something on particularly these two equations. I said last video that the zero term was the first term of the sequence. What would have been more appropriate would have been to say that it is the initial term, because it's technically the term before the first term. If you're still confused, reference the answers to the questions at the end of my last video and they will clarify it. So anyway, though I don't really like these equations, they do tell us some stuff. And a massive surprise to everyone, I'm sure, an arithmetic sequence is really just a linear function. And we see that in its equations, as the form a sub n equals a sub 0 plus dn is really just the equation y equals b plus mx, which is the linear function equation. And the other equation, a sub n equals a sub k plus d multiplied by n minus k, could be expressed as another way of writing linear equations, being f of x equals yi plus m multiplied by x minus xi, where you include the point xi comma yi in the equation. Geometric sequences embody a new type of function we'll be talking about this unit, exponential functions. The exponential function skeleton equation is f of x equals ab to the power of x, and you can see the similarity to the geometric sequence equation. And funny enough, the second geometric sequence equation can be transformed into an exponential function, written as f of x equals yi multiplied by r to the power of x minus xi, where it includes the point xi comma yi in its equation. So what do we take away from all of this. Well, here it is. Linear functions have output values changing at a constant rate based on addition, and exponential functions have output values changing at a proportional rate based on multiplication. Which is why if you see a graph, table, or even just two points, you should be able to tell me whether it is exponential or linear. Exponential functions themselves are a next video problem. For now, here's some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.